I think it's time. Time we stopped messing around and actually be in our war with the Holy Nation. By the Holy Nation, I mean the uh, United Cities. Really not quite sure how to go about it. I think I want to... I want to go from the furthest places first, which I guess means taking on Bark. I brought along the B team to help me uh, and to train them. And I think it only makes sense to, like, you know, bring them around. That being said, I'm a little worried that if I leave no one to watch the prisoners, that, like, something bad might happen. I just have this, like, vague sense of dread. It's, I really, really want to keep Igor. The other guys, I don't really care if they live or they die. In fact, you know, it would almost be preferable if they died, because they uh, serve no function to me now. They're not exactly, like, tough enough to do any training. Whereas I have a feeling that Igor might provide... An opportunity to refine a team skill, maybe. As tedious as it will definitely be. Uh, I think I'm going to want to push my guys into the 80s or whatever before I handle any other content. But for now, we're going to be we're gonna be smashing stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave Headshot at home. I mean, Headshot's got t talking. Maybe Ray would be better. Because Ray doesn't necessarily need to be that strong if he's going to be like a home guy eventually. Yeah, I think Ray can. Ray can watch the home base. So, we, you might as well pick up some food. Uh, we're running a little bit lowish, relatively speaking. But, yeah, you know, <laughs> that's something we can fix later. Oh well, yeah, I've got a Desert Saber. Um, well, first things first, uh, I think Kraut will grab some meat wraps. There we go. So that's a team's food. We've got uh, the Desert Saber from friggin' What's-Its-Face. The guy. Alright, I'm gonna send a team and B team both to the spot over here. So I guess the real question is who should have it? Maybe Kang? Kang is kind of I mean he's using a Mato already. Uh from what's his face, you know? The guy. The the guy in charge of the the Reavers. That guy. Why is everybody moving so slow? Is there someone who's like ultra encumbered Headshots encumbered. Are you joking? God, it just sucks so much. What's what's weighing her down? I guess it's just the combination of all the equipment. Maybe, uh... Alright, headshot. I'm sorry. Your dialogue may be funny, but... You're gonna be fucking relegated to the home. So your strength is too tiny. You can just chill with Igor as well. You could definitely rip her to fucking tattered treads at a moment's notice. So, I mean, Kang's already got his Mato. Beep is a Desert Saber user, but Beep kind of sucks at this point. I mean, Beep's definitely, like, come a long way. Do I have anyone else who uses Sabers other than Beep? Kraut does. He's got, like, a foreign Saber... But that could easily be swapped out for Mato Desert Saber. And I think that wouldn't be too bad, actually. So I might as well give Kraut the honors. So we're talking about like a literal like two times damage increase. Now he is using uh, Crab Armor. Uh, which is very... Not uh, synergistic with a uh, Saber. Hold up. <laughs> They're talking. What are they saying? Oh, perfect. Better make sure we've got expendable cats for bribes before we get too cozy here in the canyons. Bribe money. 
The gluttonous outsiders never cease to surprise me, says Rain the Giant. It's nice to see the handiwork that we've got. Our handiwork. I believe that's the phrase for it. Maybe I could hit heft first, just because it's like closer. Go heft, then bark. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure, whatever. Definitely feeling like the burn of having slow a slow ass B team. Guess I'll spend some time killing some skimmers. I was gonna maybe like buy property in all the places before taking them out, but I'm sort of getting the sensation that I'm not gonna need any like special precautions. I've got like so many just like badass dudes, right? I mean, we're gonna have plenty of time before the fucking B team even gets there, so I guess I do have ample opportunity to like shop around. Are these guys gonna have a problem with me? It's like walking by. No. Cool. That's a luxury that's gonna go away soon ish. The ha crab helmets are so ridiculously good. Just the fact that they protect against dust storms and acid. I mean, B doesn't have a samurai helmet, but I mean, the samurai helmets also protect against it. Or the, the crab helmets, I should say. Okay, what is this place? Faction Throne. Wait, does Tengu live here? That kind of looks like Tengu lives here. That seems like a humongous place. Is that a public building? Yeah, it says it's public. Um, ugh, I guess I'll send Cat in the check. Obviously, we're not fucking doing the throne first. Store's not locked, right? Dude, what a badass place to build your throne. Okay, so we've got Samurai Captain and... An empty throne. And a couple samurai heavies. This place is really not well guarded. Uh, is there a noble here? I mean, I'm not seeing anyone of note. Samurai elites? Mmm, interesting. They've got dialogue. Is there is there not someone in here? Joan and Elite. This person's got 86 attack. Well, after bonuses. It's fucking Tengu going for a walk or something. He's fixing himself up like a midnight snack. That's kind of annoying. I thought all the thrones were in hang. I guess not. Alright, B team. Let's go to Bark. Guess we are going to Bark after all. That's what I like to see. Is that the noble house over there? <laughs> what a strange little town. There's a swamp house for sale. A mechanical shop. Uh, is there any, like, half-decent shops? Let's see. So there's some traders' guild shops, a farm shop, armory. So I mean like an armor seller. Not seeing any limb shops. Uh, I guess. Um, I mean I've said before I'm like a front gate type of person. So I kind of think that's what I'm gonna do this time. Dude, these guys are hungry. How are these guys hungry? Do I, like, fuck shit up by killing all of those slave farms? Is everyone hungry? No, Thumper's not hungry. <laughs> Alright. Well, obviously, I'm gonna go in and then begin the backstab. Assistance! Oh yeah, I'm assisting you, alright. To your early grave. Realistically speaking, I probably should put B team a little bit further in, or A team. 
Yeah, I could do A team. I'm sure B team can handle a few guards, maybe. So I'll be able to like clear out dudes here. Stop it! Yeah, that that surely is gonna stop me. How's B team doing? Yeah, they're doing fine. Um, I guess I'm gonna say half of B team can go and kill over here. Oh my god, what are these guards doing here? Intruder, after them, arrest them! Empire Noble Guard, minus, minus, minus. Who's the dude here? I'm not seeing any dudes here. Is there not a dude here? Shoo, shoo, rotten insect. No, clearly that guy is the noble. Oh yeah, here we go. Lady Sanda. Lead my bogue at once, Dreg. I think my four dudes should be enough. Dude, Shrike is fucking unconscious. So is Slink. I mean, they're my two martial arts dudes, so it only makes sense. Alright, come on, we. I know you can do it. Or, well, I know you probably can't do it, but that will help. Nicely done. Alright, how's A team doing? Guards, this peasant is bothering me. Guards! Dude, Lazy Sand is actually pretty strong. Not quite as strong as I am, but pretty close. Leave my dwelling at once. I'm not in your house. United Cities is now hostile to me. Sag. I feel like Slink's probably going to be in a coma. I guess, uh... Cat can pick up Slink. We might as well bodyguard Shrike. Wow, Mr. Torp actually got got. Look, it wasn't a fair 1v1, okay? Awesome. Uh, I guess Ruka can go first aid Mr. Torb so the injuries don't get worse. I do love the chaos of the NPCs just like uh, all roaming around. Or I guess the PCs. I should say. Okay, Beep's actually gone back up. You won't get away with this. That's lovely. I don't have a splint kit. What's her uh, cleaver? Long edge type 1. Pretty good. Yeah, I guess I will steal it. Why not? 300% value on the blood run. Dude, that's so badass. Don't mess with the law. Dude, did he steal my weapon? He did not steal my weapon. He did fucking steal my spine, though. Holy shit. Oh, that guy looks like he's got a pretty good weapon, actually. Eh, it's probably just... It looks kind of like it's a uh, Mark II or something. Let's see. Oh, Mark III. I mean, that is pretty good. Black and Chainmail Masterwork Raid. I'm glad I fucking saw this. Dude, what the fuck? This guy's got all Masterwork Raid gear. Hold on, do all these guys have Masterwork Raid gear? This is something I need to confirm. Let's see, not this one. Let's see. I think it's got to be the Noble Guards, right? <gasps> what? Dude, that's so crazy. It's also, like, colorful and shit, too. Holy fuck, dude. Intruder, arrest them. Uh, who else has got a pretty good backpack? Ruka. Dude, I can't believe it. That's more valuable than the fucking noble. Alright, uh, Alec, you might as well grab this set, uh, all masterwork gear. 
Is there any other noble guard minus minus minus? Oh, this guy. You're about to get stolen from. Hey, what the? You're stupid, I'll smash you. You're the one playing dead, buddy. Alright, did he actually have? Yeah, he also has the masterwork. Let's go. He can keep his crummy Mark I weapon. There's gotta be a way. I'm pretty sure you can make equipment, like, unstolen by putting it in, like, its corresponding chest, right? So I might be able to, uh... Make it unstolen, or uh, I'm pretty sure I can make it un-uniformed uh, as well uh, by putting it on someone who's not a member of a faction. So we might be able to like do some magic to make it unstolen and also un-uniformed, and then it'll be ours, our prize. Dude, what is with these assholes? I guess they don't want me to get away with their noble. No one in the A-team. Okay, I've picked up everyone with broken legs. Oh, everything's red now. Hmm. My guy's kind of incredibly fucking... are incredibly beat up after this. I think I might want to just return to home base. Quite the journey, though. Well, whatever. Man, that's so, like, sad. Just like a dude wiggling on the ground, yelling about intruders. Uh, rain. Eliminate. If you're anyone but a noble guard, minus, 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 you'd be safe. However, your equipment is too valuable. Plus, you're a very decent training buddy as well, kind of. To be honest, their equipment sort of out... is out-leveling their <laughs> skills, I should say. Alright, you can follow Kang. Uh, Soto, might as well kill this guy. It's like a loser gate sergeant. At least just injure him. So we can't keep up. Dude, who is this asshole who's just screeching? Oh, just a great gay guard. Fuck, do I want to kill Lady Sanda? I kind of feel like I should let her go and then kill her. I think it makes more sense than leaving her around. Just gonna get 20 sabers to the fucking dome. She gets up. Oh, I probably should steal her booty boots. So she's slower. Guess, uh, who'd be the best killer? Maybe Cat? Or Rain the Giant? Yeah, she does like 60 damage. Alright, Sanda. Time for the finishing blow. She's not dead already? I guess Shek do die at 125. It counts as me killing her if she dies of a wound that I cause, right? Alright, this should be it. Dead. Boom, boom, boom. You're not tough enough to live, sorry. You know, realistically speaking, if Hang isn't the home of Tangu, then I could probably take it out next. And since the United City nobles took my farm and all my food, I'd say that's mighty good timing for me. It's not good timing for you, I'm sorry to say. Give in and this will be over quickly for you. The only thing I'll be giving in to is my own bloodlust. Get fucked. Uh, clearly this <laughs> route of going super far away 
or returning all the way home is not going to be tenable for the rest of the UC. I'm going to need to either do them in one big go, or alternatively, bring some materials to rest. It's so much just more, so like dauntingly bigger than the other place, the United, uh, the Holy Nation, 